Hi everyone, welcome back to the Emory Security YouTube channel. My name is Evan Isaac and today we'll be doing section two of the API Security 2024 CTF. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at how to attack JWT tokens within the end Gern section of the CTF. The first challenge is named JWT Germinator where Suron has tasked us with taking care of an ENT for the upcoming war. Using the API to monitor its growth, Suron will only award you when your ENT has finished growing. And we have a target URL here. So let's head over to the URL and see what we have. We have five endpoints, two of which look to be interesting. One is retrieving tokens using the end get underscore seed as well as the check seed where we have parameters here that we can maybe play around with later down the line. So to get started, let's take a look at how we can retrieve the token. So we'll head over to our terminal and we'll do a curl request to this endpoint by doing a post. Now, if you don't know what JWT tokens are, JWT tokens are mainly used for authorization purposes on web applications. There are some times where you will get JWTs in parameters. They're not very common within web applications, but these are just a few attacks that you can do on JWTs. There are three main sections in a JWT. The first section, which can be delimited by a period. This is the header section, this is the payload section, and anything after the second period would be the signature. Now, each time you generate a JWT, it's going to have different values because of maybe an expiration date or something changed within the JWT. But in our case, we're going to want to look mainly at the payload section. So let's do an echo on this base64, do base64 tag D. And we can see we get a name as well as time left in years, which is 8 million. If we look back over to our original challenge, though, we could see that the reward is only when the ENT finishes growing. So that probably means that we need to tamper with the time left in years. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the echo command again, and we're going to take this JSON and we'll paste it into the echo command. And what we could do within here is we can now modify the payload. So we're going to change it from 8 million to zero. And we're going to also base 64 encode it again. This is a completely new base 64, right? These, these two are completely separate from one another. So what we could do now is we could take this original JWT and we'll remove the original payload because we're not going to need that anymore because that has the 8 million value. And we'll paste this in. So now we have a brand new JWT. So now that we have the new JWT, what we can do is we can do a curl on that check seed endpoint. So we'll do a post. And instead of get seed, we're going to change this to check seed. And we're going to need a do attack D for data because we have a post parameter. And if we remember from previously, we could see that there is a seed token parameter. So we're going to do JSON here and we will do seed token colon. And inside of the quotes, we will paste in our JWT that we just created. And this may work, this may not work. Depending on how curl analyzes it, we may also need to throw in a header, the content type of application JSON. But let's see if this works. And it looks like it doesn't. It says unsupported media type did not attempt to load JSON because the content type is invalid. So we have to do attack H for header. And we'll do a content type colon application json and now when we submit it we could see that we retrieve the first flag how that grows so fast so let's head back over to our documentation and let's paste in the flag so in the next challenge soren is unhappy with those who have found a way to bypass the expected wait time for their ent to properly mature there has been a new api release for use which has added security measures do not disappoint him again all right and we have a target url so let's copy this and let's see what we have looks like it's the exact same endpoint as last time so should be pretty easy we'll take the url and we'll do a curl tech x post and we will do ent get seed and we can see here that now we have a signature this was not here before if you remember there was nothing after the second period now there is so this makes me think that we're going to have to do something with the signature but we're going to try the same stuff that we did originally and we'll take this we'll do an echo onto the base 64 and we'll decode it we can see everything still looks the exact same so again we'll take the json 
We'll paste it in and we'll change it to zero. We'll base 64 encode it again. And we will take the original, which I'm actually going to put it inside of our notes here. So we're going to take the original and we'll take the base 64 that we just created and we'll paste it into the payload section. So now that we have the new one, we're going to go back to the get seed and change it to check seed. We'll do attack D. And again, what we're going to do is we will do JSON. So two brackets, seed token, and we'll paste in our brand new base64. Don't forget about the header. So content type, application JSON, and we can see invalid token signature verification failed. So we can't do anything modification related to the payload because the signature prevents us from doing so. So there's a specific thing that probably comes to mind, which is let's just brute force a signature, right? At the end of the day, a signature is a password, which is exactly what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a brand new seed that we have not created. So let's take this and let's make a new directory. Let's just call this JWT. Let's go over here and we'll put this as a hash for hashcat. And what we'll do is we'll do hashcat tech a zero tech m 16,500. We'll do hash as well as user share word list. And then we'll do rock u.txt. We'll let this go. And after a few seconds, as you could see, we already retrieved the password December 30. So there are a few different ways that you can now tamper with this specific JWT. In my case, I'm going to make my life a little bit easy. We're going to head on over to our browser and type in JWT.io. JWT.io is a fantastic tool. If you haven't used it, I strongly recommend you check it out. Essentially, what you could do here is you can modify JWTs in a beautified form. So here you can put the encoding and here there will be the decoded version with the header, the payload, as well as the signature. So what we can do here is instead of this signature, we'll replace it with December 30 and we'll change this out to be zero in the time left in years. And as we could see, signature verified, which means we're good to go. So let's copy this and let's head back over to our terminal. And we'll do a curl request again onto the check seed. But this time, instead of the old, we'll put in the new. And we could see API sec, are you a time traveler? That is the second flag for the second challenge. So we'll head over here and we will paste this in to our challenge. Now we're on to the final challenge of this section. But before we do so, please like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps me out to create more content for you guys to learn and grow within web application security and API security. In this challenge, Garden of Tokens, I did not receive points for this challenge when I originally did the CTF, but over time I managed to figure it out. But it says, apparently you can't be trusted to properly take care of these ENTs. There we are now tracking all ENT data centrally. You can only retrieve your flag once your ENT has sufficiently matured. And we have another URL. So let's head over to this URL and see what we have. There are six different endpoints now. Looks like we do have new ones. So there's a seed slash new as well as an ENT slash seeds. And we have different parameters. So we have the name parameter inside of the new and we have the C token, which is within the check. So to begin, I'm pretty certain we're going to have to look at all the seeds to see what we're working with. So let's do a get request on the seeds. So let's head over here. Let's grab the URL and we'll paste this in slash ENT slash seeds. And we can see that there is a bunch of different things, but it's a bit difficult to read. So we'll be using something called JQ, which will essentially beautify our JSON within the terminal. And we can see that we get a few seeds with different names and planted dates. So there really isn't much information here, but we do remember that in the fourth endpoint that we looked at, there is a name parameter inside of the seed new. So we'll head over to ENT seed slash new, and we're going to change this over to a post request. And inside of the data, we're going to set the name field to be whatever name that we have within the JSON that we have above. So we'll do Ricky Suarez first. And we'll also add the content type again to be application JSON. And it looks like there's an issue. So it looks like I forgot to put the name parameter. So if you did spot that, good catch. So plans already exist with the C token and we have a token. All right. So this is some great progress. So what we can do is we can copy this again. We'll head over to 
the jwt.io website and let's take a look at what data we have so we have the name we have the planted date which we already know and now we have the time left in years and it looks like this seed is not going to expire anytime soon unless we want to wait five years but we don't have that much time so we're not going to worry too much about that let's head back over to our terminal and let's try a different user so if we scroll up we have jonathan monroe let's head over to jonathan and let's modify the name to be jonathan monroe and let's encode and we could see that jonathan has a time left in years of negative 15. so this is promising because this is less than zero which means the ent should have matured by now so let's take this head back over to our challenge and we're going to modify this just a little bit so we'll keep this as json but instead of this being jonathan monroe we'll replace that with the JWT token that we have, and we'll change this to seed token, modify the endpoint to check. When we click enter, we see that we have retrieved the final flag of the challenge. API sec, thank you for your efforts in helping our garden grow. So we'll take this and we'll put it in to our notes. And that's all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video. It definitely supports the channel. This is going to be the next section that we do. It's called Insecure Runes. So be sure to take a screenshot of this or pause the video now. In two to three days, I'll be posting the write-up for how to do this challenge. This was a fun one. Want to see if you guys can get it. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.